Hi everyone, it's Universal RC back and this is flight number two of the Firefly 6. Uh, it was an overcast day and uh, I still decided to go give it a try. It's very wet out and cloudy and but we're gonna do it. So plugging in the batteries button her back up and I tested the radio first to make sure that uh, forward flight and hover flight modes are working fine we got forward and elevons are working as they should Back to hover mode and out to the field. And we have lift off, hopefully. I changed the gains. There we go. We got lift off. Gains are back at 140 on uh, basic and 80, I believe, on ATI. And as you can see, no more rocking. And that's, I'm banging the sticks, hard left, hard right, and she's flying just like our regular Y6 should fly. Forward and backward seem fine. A little bit of yaw. Dipped the wing a little bit, but I noticed, you know, it's a, it's a little bit breezy today, so I did, you know, those big wings will, they're going to react to the wind a little bit, so. But today it handled just like a normal Y6 multi-rotor should handle, so I was very happy. And I actually lifted the landing gear this time. Again, nice and smooth, flew very well. I was very, very tickled, although I'm still shaking like crazy on the sticks, I'm sure. Time to get some altitude. kind of zoomed in a little bit here from the GoPro shot. Sorry for the graininess. I guess we're about 100 feet up. And I'm trying to get my nerve up to push it forward. And about here, I think, it's time to go. She dipped a little bit and nosed up on me. I added a little bit of power, straightened it up, and uh, it flew like an airplane. Uh, after about um, just a couple notches over half throttle, um, when I let go of the sticks, it flies straight and true, just like a regular plane. No trim needed whatsoever. Like I said, it's uh, definitely overcast and almost a fog setting in, and so I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing it. We had uh, bean fields and tall grass around our field so I figured if I had to abort at least I had a soft landing to land on. By this time everything seems fine. I think I'll drip, dip down just a little bit more so we can see it. No, I didn't buzz the field at five feet like I normally do but That'll be flight number three, possibly. Uh, I don't have any telemetry running right now, so I had no idea how my batteries are doing. But just about now, I decided time to go horizontal. There she stops, and I do get a little bit of wiggle. I'm a little more wiggling and I'm basically trying to now this back up and spin I don't remember doing but uh, I'm trying to get it back to the field and of course I'm nervous anyway and we do have wing rocking as you see this is acting just like it did on my first flight uh, it did settle down I just let off, got off the sticks and let the flight controller level it and at this point, it settled right down and started flying pretty well normal. Uh, you can't
can't see it in the video, but I could see a big flashing red LED, so I knew I was battery time. And it was probably into an auto land here, so I did level it out and got it down. Now this is default voltage settings. I'm not yelling about flight time yet because I've not touched the default NASA settings. So I will have to uh, do some adjusting here. Uh, turn things off. Motors are cold. Battery is just a tiny bit warm, but they weren't bad at all. So it did work, and uh, we were only at 60% battery.